Good. Yeah. Hello, Facebook land and other Joe's Dojo peoples. Yeah. Uh, it's me, Sensei Joe Garvey, and... Joey. Good, and that Joey guy. Uh, we are here for karate class today. Uh, hopefully you guys are too. I will point out the fact that I have the Zoom going on right now too, so if you are joining us on Facebook Live, that's great. If you want to actually be part of the class and be able to see correct and, you know, do all the other things that teachers do, then the Zoom invite, I'm tr I try to make it so it's reoccurring. Uh, it's an experiment, and as we get better at Zoom, then I could open up more classes so that we could have specific classes for each age group and or different interest levels and different things that they're working on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for now, we're just doing class. So, uh, today's class is Monday, so Monday. it's a hard workout and uh, some good stuff. Alright, so it's Kyosuke so. and Ray. Good bow in. And warm up begins now, Hajime. Whew. Good, if you notice, Joey and I are matchers. Yay. Good. Besides the fact that he's a black belt. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gotta work on that part, right? Uh huh. That's what we're here for. Work on our stuff. Yep. When in doubt, do more. Backwards, teeny tiny to start, and they're just gonna get a little bit bigger each round, each rotation, each bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger. Good. And circly circles. Good. Back and forth, these. Huggables. Huggables? Oh, I think that's patent it. Hugs. Nah, I can't patent hugs. Good. I don't know, Hershey Kisses tried, you know. I think that's an H-U-G-Z. And they have, you know, the white chocolate and the regular chocolate. Good. Side to side. Shimmy shams. Right, Joey? Uh, sure. Okay, good idea. Do-do, 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 do-do. Hippie circles. Hippie dippy circle oracles. Hippie. Do reverse hippie circle oracles. You're like, those are all long, Sensei, and I can't tell you that. Knee circles. In a circle with your knees, if you please. Other way, please. Circle ease with your knees. Doodle 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 ease. Shake, 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 tap, tap, shake, shake, tap, 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 shake, shake, tap. Shake, tap, 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 shake, shake, tap, 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 shake, tap, tap, shake. Shake, 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 Roll, roll, roll your wrist. Violently in a circle. How about the little circle? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm, that sounds good, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe, sir. Maybe, sir. Yes, sir. Straighten your legs, touch your toes, bend your knees, straighten your legs, bend your knees, straighten your legs, bend your knees, straighten your legs, bend one knee, other leg, other leg. And actually, bend one knee, that's kind of fun. And then bend the other knee, lean over to it. It's a nice way of opening your hips non violently. You feel the stretch, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> that's the right answer. Good. Let's start here. Knee circles in and out. That's so funny seeing the little tiny laptop. It's only a little bit different than the phone, it looks like. Uh huh, you can't see it. We can be it. Other way. See? I try to mess you up. Two on that side, one on this side, one on that side. Other side, inside, over side. That was like the wrong kick of the headline. Huh, good. Let's see. That thing, that thing, that thing. Ah, to the ground. Yes, sir. It's time for stretcheroos. Hand up, hand under. Point with the bottom hand. Keep your other hand up. There's a trick. To the ceiling. Higher. Nope. Yes. Yeah, weird, huh? Now put both down. Different, right? It's an interactive class, Joey. You have to say answers, otherwise people will think that you're a mute. No, I'm not. Okay, left hand up to the ceiling. Right hand touch your toe. Keep your left hand up. Changes the stretch, I promise. 
Then other hand down. Good. Now both hands. Wait, you have both hands, right? Good. One hand on each leg. Figure out if you have toes in your shoes or your feet. Good, I do. Both hands in front. Remember, exhaling is easier to stretch on. Both feet in front. See if you can still stretch. Touch your toes, touch your knees, touch your thighs, touch your eyes. Ah! Too far. Went too far this time. Hmm. Good. Butterfly. Flying butter. It's what butters eat. No, flies eat? Butterflies. Oh, hmm. Let's see. Joke of the day, Joey? Uh, why? What happens when you stick a fly in butter? Uh, you get a dead fly. Uh, dead fly in a mess. <laughs> yeah, a mess of dead fly. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Or he gets really happy because he eats it faster than you can stick it in. All right, fine. <laughs> Good. Foot forward, foot up, and behind. Ah, that's a good stretch. Ah, that's the other good stretch. Ah, that's a good stretch. That's a good stretch. That's not what I intended, though. Bring your knee up. If you want to, give it a hug. If you don't want to, stay where you are. Foot, but came closer, but stay where you are, but a little bit closer. Ugh. Most times when you're wondering about stretching, it should be done twice as long and half as hard. So it's not about fast, crazy stretching, it's about slow, I guess painful, <laughs> slow. Whew. Come here. There, just relax. If that's hard, don't do it that hard. Just breathe. Just a little bit, a little bit. Whew. Ah, ridiculous. Good, 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 all right. We haven't done this in a while, so we're going to have to go to hard mode today. So, uh -oh. hard mode. Because it's, you know, Monday, and you might as well get your muscles working on Monday. You're going to have both knees down. It's going to be Saison, which is like the kneeling position. Now you're going to take your front one foot. Does not matter which foot it is. Oh, no. <laughs> Joey knows what we're about to do. All right. You're going to take that foot, and you're going to wiggle it forward until it's slightly uncomfortable. And you're going to take both hands down. And you're just going to do that. What? Yeah, it's not so bad, right? Good. Then wiggle it forward a little bit. And breathe in. Breathe out. Have all your fingertips facing forward, by the way. Wiggle it forward a little bit more. No, no. Don't fall down. Just don't go lower. If you can't go lower, that's fine. Just stay where you are. Splits aren't gained in the day unless you made an accident. Yep. They are lost really quickly though. Good, then relax. Bring your foot back. Bend that knee, bring it back. Put it back down. Take your other foot out. Reach it forward. So you get a little tease here. You're like, I'm gonna stretch you. I'm gonna stretch you. You're not gonna like it, but I'm gonna stretch you. And you kind of go towards close to your maximum. Breathe out. And one foot. Ah, 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 ah. There it is. A little bit more. A little bit more. If that's all you got, that's all you got. If you can't go this far, that's because you're human. I'm part cyborg. Look, he's doing pretty good today. All right, bring it back in. Nice and slow. Stretching should be done slowly. Good. Two more. So, next one, you're going to put both hands down. And your knees are going to go out like you're doing a butterfly, except for it's a reverse butterfly. They call it frog some places. We do, because you kind of look like a frog. Kind of. You mean you just put your hips to the ground. If you have like a neighbor that's living with you or something, you just have them push down your hips to make it so it's even closer to the ground. But don't worry, gravity does its own job. 
Okay, now, the last of the worst. Or I mean, the worst of the last. I'd say the last for worst. We're first for last? No. Okay, feet up. See if you can touch the ground. If you touch the ground, you're in a better position. Because this will keep you from smashing into the ground. Now, heels toe, heel toe, walk it out a little bit. You want to be able to support yourself. If you can't support yourself, don't go so far. Just go as, fat, as far as you can to support. You could probably even be here. This might be a stretch for you. I don't know. I can't see you. So you go here. You stretch out. Stretch out. Ah, stretch out. Stretching out. Doo -doo -doo. And then walk back in. Easy as that, right, Joey? Good, now let's do it again. So, back to your Cezanne position, kneeling position. I'm going to do this slowly. Instead of doing it rapid fire, break your legs off. You go here, take one foot, slide it forward. A little river dance here. And your second time is, in theory, easier than your first time. So you go as far as you want. As far as you want, plus one inch. <laughs> ah, good. Bring it back up the easy way. Is that the easy way, Joey? <laughs> I tricked you. It's not the easy way, it's the hard way. Other foot. I like to do that low lean forward first, just so that your body knows what you're about to do to it. Walk your foot out. Walk your foot out. Walk your foot out. Walk your foot out some more. Now, if you notice, I'm moving my toe back and forth. That kind of cheats you into the stretch, but it keeps you out of it. See, Joey's got his foot down. He can't do this. Aha! It means I get a win. It's okay. I'm used to beating Joey at things. <laughs> Go one more time down the middle. First frog stretch, second big stretch. Joey, you're getting out of camera. You got to back up a little bit so they can see you. Don't worry, you're a fan to somebody. Somebody else. Probably my mom. She probably thinks you're awesome. Mm. Yeah. I mean, your mom does too, but you, know, you haven't met mine. Okay. Then walk it back a little bit just because we're out of camera range. And this time we're going to go. Heels touch the ground and toes up to the ceiling. And then you walk it out. Walking it out. Make gravity shout. Ah! And down. Ooh. Easy, right? And and foot. Now this should be easier this time. Is it easier, Joey? Kinda. Are you further? Yes. We'll check the tape. We can tell. Walk it to the middle. Now when you walk to the middle, you want to stay low to the ground so you maintain a stretch in between positions. Yes, sir. Okay, then get further out there so that we can tell how painful it is. Then walk to the other foot. Hello, foot! Hello. Oh, talk back! This is the first time he's ever done that! Ah, other foot, you're doing good today. Back to the middle. Aha! I always like to do the middle three times because it's the hardest one for me. So if you work on something more often, better chance of doing well, right? I guess, yes, sir. Better chance that you don't smell. That's not true, actually. You work hard, you smell more. It's just a bad thing. All right. That is all for that stretching moment. Shaking it off, shaking it on. Woo! Good. So, we got ourselves started off right, right? I think my head is getting cut off a little bit over here, so we'll just go like this and go. Whoop. Did anybody watch it yet? I don't know. Nobody said hi. Oh, I got a thumbs up, a heart, a heart, a thumbs up, a heart, a heart, a heart, a thumbs up, a thumbs up, a thumbs up. And there's nobody watching, so that's kind of confusing, but we'll work with that. Okay. Oh, it's happening again. Look, it happens. As soon as I walk back here, they like it. Huh? Eh? 
Yep. All right, good. Uh, That's shot, weird. Shot, 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 shot. It was actually good that I was had this thing zoomed down though, because it was how footwork, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're stretching, you should be able to see that. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So karate mode. Let's go ahead. Hachi dachi. Go. Let's go over stances. We haven't done that in a while. So haisuko dachi. Feet together stance. It's a very boring name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fudo dachi. It's where your toes are apart. And I'm gonna zoom out myself a little bit so you can see my feet a little better. So fudo dachi. Knees bent, hands at your side. I do blades. So I don't have your fingers all wiggly or anything. You have them just here, so they don't slide into your imaginary pockets. Hachi dachi, you step out shoulder width. I like to present my weapons. How many weapons am I holding? Two. The two of them. Good, I still got kicked, but it's okay. So hachi dachi's here. Now, if I wanted to get into the weird stances, you go haichi dachi, you kind of then tuck your knee, you step a little bit forward and you kind of do like a reverse fudo dachi. You're not touching your toes together, but you are bending your knees in and you're kind of getting it forward. This is a almost like a meditation concentration stance. It, it's very awkward because you kind of push your feet out as you push your knees in at the same time. Yeah. Then, uh, what did I call that one? Um, Hengetsu, all right, then Sanchindachi, it's wider. So you get yourself wider, you go toe out, heel out, toe out, heel out, whatever you got. It's almost as wide as a Kibidachi. If you bend your knees out, Kibidachi. If you bend your knees in, Sanchindachi. Good. Mm -hmm. I might have those two reversed. We'll have to review them on the piece of paper later. Good. Then let's do Kibidachi. So we're forward facing. Ha! So it's normal to ki when you get into Kibidachis. Good. Let's go Soshindachi. Bam! It's the same thing. It's just you're on an angle. So if you're having a person you're fighting, you might be inside angle. Now, the reason why this one's a nice one is because you're kind of in a ready position. It's here. A lot of times we do an outside block and then we rotate our body so that we actually have some force behind our punch. Now, the downside of a Soshindachi is when you're doing a block, you're not really using your body weight to much advantage. So if I were here, I could wiggle here. If I'm here and I open with it, then I could get a little body weight behind it. So if I go from a stance to another, you could get it. If you go from a stance here, outside, then you could drop your weight with your arm, then you get some power, you know. Now, in Kusadachi, often one of our favorite stances. Why is it a favorite stance? I don't know. Because it's a forward punch, you know, bam! You get to have your energy stored up here. Now, if you notice, I bend my knee a little extra, and when I bend my knee a little extra, my weight goes with it. So if I'm here, I'm in a bad Hachidachi, really. If I'm here, I'm in a forward stance. You can feel the weight on your front leg if you're doing it right. It'll start the strain right here, the front part of your leg, right? That's how you, that's one of the ways of knowing you're doing it right. So here, you should get a workout from doing this stance. It shouldn't just be easy to hang out in. It's easier than other stances, but it should be hard. Good Zen Kusadachi, you should be about one shoulder width wide, two shoulder widths back. And this leg should be forward facing. This leg should be trying to be forward facing. It's not always gonna be perfectly forward facing. And you should have this knee bent so far that you can't see your toes. Do you see your toes? No, sir. Can I see your toes? Yes, sir. Okay, good. That's a good sign. Hachi dachi switch. Bam! It's good to switch your stance. Do a block. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a, what a dachi? A senkutsu dachi. I know, it's the same stance. It's the other leg. Mm -hmm. When I cover up, I'm having myself cover. I can either go shoulder to hip. I go face to groin. I like to have a complete theory. If you're really, really not as, I, I guess my muscles in front kind of block my range of motion a little bit. So there's a little hole right here where my block doesn't cover. Does that stink? It stinks. Oh, well, I could work on it a little bit more, but I just work with it. It's a cover. It's not supposed to do everything for you. Mm. Bam! I want to cover my eyes when I'm covering. I want to cover my body. So bam! So this is Enkusadachi part two. So Hachidachi, Haisukodachi. Futo dachi, hachi dachi, kibidachi! Ha! Okay, side note is, kibidachi, if we're doing it for hard work, super deep and low. Where else do we use a kibidachi, Joey? Oh, uh, you use a kibidachi in katas? The katas, absolutely, katas. Mm -hmm. Good, where else? Uh. This is a very easy question. If anybody knows it, just say it out loud. There's one person said a comment, there's another person commenting. 
Okay, you think about that Kibidachi. It's one of the ones that you use more than every other stance. Uh-huh. You have more spectators on YouTube. That's okay. Spectators aren't not what I want. I want students. Good. But I like your idea. So. You're supposed to get on YouTube too right now? I posted on YouTube after. Oh. Okay. So. You know this stance? Mm -hmm. What's this stance called? That's the... It's a kibidachi. It's the same thing. I tricked uh -huh. you. I'm intentionally tricking you here. You're in a sosinachi. I'm in a kibidachi. Okay. So side fighting stance is a high kiba. This is a low kiba. This would be a fighting kiba. But a lot of times when we're fighting kiba, we don't fight forward, we fight sideways. Why do we fight sideways? So we don't get hurt as much. Mm -hmm. What? How does it make me get hurt less? Oh, uh, because if you're fighting forward, they okay. can kick your legs. Your legs, your groin, your stomach, your chest, your okay, face. Anything. They can punch it too. If you're here, this is bad. This is like uh, the Chris Farley ninja movie. Yeah. You're like, here, I'll take him on. You go here. I'll take them on. This takes away a lot of target. So mm -hmm. I'm two body weights. This is about one body length. So I'm about half the target here. And my knee is still exposed. My hip is slightly back. So if this is bent, then they have to go, let's go side fighting. So this is this much space that they have to get past before they get to my body. Mm -hmm. Here, it's almost all centered. The only thing they have to, the thing they have to get past is my hands. So if you kick low, there's not much I can do except for move my body quickly. So side fighting stance is a, it's a, keep it up. a high keep it up, even high easier. Kick. So high keep up. Yes. Good. So you have your side fighting stance, your ready stance. Bam, now it's trying to get into the cool ones. So next up will be, let's see, cat stance, back stance, relaxed cat stance, crane stance. Those four are pretty useful. So if I were to go back stance, the easy way to get there is get in a kibidachi, turn your front foot, and push back into the back leg. Keep a little bend in your front leg. So, you see how easy that was, Joey? Mm -hmm. So, this is a backward stance, so there's more weight on my back leg than my front. What's the opposite of this stance? Uh, one more. Front stance. I won't make you think too hard. So, front stance is forward facing, back stance is still forward facing, but you have the weight on your back leg. Uh -huh. Now, you pull back. This is a relaxed cat stance. I'll diagonal it a little bit so you can see my foot position. So I pull back. My toes still touching the ground. Myself is ready. I pull back even more. Then I just have the tippy toe off my toe. Bam! This is a super kicking stance. Also might be part of a motion to get away. Like, whoa! Bam! Bam! When you come back in. But your relaxed cat stance, or a cat stance, has got very little weight on this front foot. But what does that make it good for? Makes it good for like front kicking? Front kicking, yeah. You can round kick too, but then you have to turn your hip yeah. a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a superior front kicking stance. It's great. It's amazing. It's super fast. Very easy to get through. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if I were to pick that up, I have this stance. What's this stance called, Joey? Crane stance, I think. Crane stance. Surudachi. Uh -huh. So let me re say these. Kokutsudachi. Konekodachi. Nekodachi. Surudachi. Okay, now in my style, this is our crane stance. It has your body right next to it. This is a hook stance. So, if you see, I put my foot behind my knee and I pull. That's a hook stance. This is a crane stance. What's the difference? Uh, one's, one, your foot's behind your leg and your leg's bent. Yep. This leg bent? Both of them are actually bent neck. Bent. So, yep. it's just where this other foot goes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's times when you actually want to go here, boom, bam, so you can kind of like counter a ton of energy back at you. There's also times, what, what other thing would you use this crane stance for? Oh, you would use crane stance for, well... Say kata, that's the right answer. Kata. So kata, yeah. what's the other thing for kata? Kata, workouts, kind of, because you can... Workouts, it builds a lot of leg yeah. strength, good. What about fighting? Would you ever use a crane stance in fighting? Yeah. Oh. Well, like... Do a front kick? Uh -huh. Front okay. kick. You it's can. actually one of the secret ways of using a crane stance. I say Joey's coming at me. I go, oh, I pull up my knee as a block. So say you're side kicking me, and I go, oh, bam, and then I kind of drop down my body weight with it. So a good crane stance is a defensive move, right? Mm -hmm. And where I put my foot matters. So if I put it behind me, 
that's going to jam myself. If I put it in front of me, that's going to jam you. So if you wanted to kick me here or here, I rechange my target. Now you're kicking my shin or lower. It still hurts, but it changes your target. If your damage happens right at the end, and I make it happen before that, your damage didn't get there. Does that make sense? That's like if you see one of those good old firecrackers in like the cartoon movies where there's like a big giant line. If you cut it off early, it stops the explosion. So that's what you're doing when you jam a technique. You stop the explosion from happening. You still might get burned a little bit. Still might get bruised a little bit. We don't get the boom power shot. Okay. So one more time with those easy stances. So starting off, side fighting stance, kibidachi. Pull this back foot, or pull the front foot back a little bit. Rest your weight on your back leg. That's call kutsu dachi. Let me pull back a little more. That's ko neko dachi. Say it loud. Ko neko dachi. Pull it back even more. Neko dachi. Neko dachi. Pull it back even more. Ko Sorry, my, my pant leg keeps keep catching on my heel. I'm a bad person. All right. What Suru dachi. Suru dachi. S-U-R-U. Suru. Go, then I turn this foot and I grab it behind myself. What's that one called? Uh, Same thing as one of these. One of these. Kagi dachi. So hook stance, kagi dachi. You can notice I'm actually putting a little pressure on my knee pit. My knee pit, I made that name up. It makes sense immediately. Though. Good. That's not all the stances though. So if this is suru dachi, this is mesuru dachi. Also known as? I need to go to the bathroom stance. No, it's called cross step stance. So you go forward, and you have this bent knee and this other leg behind it. Now, why is this one useful? Uh, say katas. Katas. Good. It's like when your Bible quiz is like, you just say God. You know, good. All right, so you go here. Surudachi. Mei surudachi, isn't it? Uh-huh. Mei suru. Mei suru. Mei suru. You could literally just go foot forward. It's really awkward to do that. What's the direction that we usually go in this one? Uh, this way? Both. Sideways is the answer I'm looking for. You go sideways with a cross step stance. Oh, you don't necessarily go forward step. with a cross step stance. That's ungainly. That's weird. So sideways with a cross step stance, boom, adds to your kicks. Mm -hmm. Adds to your punches. You go wham, yeah. right? Have you ever done a cross step Yamazuki? Uh, no. You go cross step, boom, mountain punch. Let's try it out. It's fun. You forgot it. What? You did cross step once, cross step mountain punch. It's too much work. Do less. So cut chamber here. So you remember, when you're doing a teyuki, you don't have them touching, right? Mm. This one's regular chamber, this one's cover on top. You spot this direction. Cross step. Boom. Oh. See, I'm in a cross step step. You're not as crossy as I am. Mm. You went too far, that's what that means. Boom! Good. Now cover up this side. I'm getting ready. And ready, make sure they don't touch. Now, left foot's gonna step over right foot, step in front, left hand's gonna twist. Wow! Go ahead and pull. Okay, now if I were to teach you this really well, you get really good at this, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's a secret we have katas that have this in it. Really? Yeah, we do. That's where I learned this move from. I was like, my goodness, that's awesome. It's like black belt katas, but it's still awesome. So, here, actually, uh, Basai Dai? That has at least a cross step with. Mm, it's a it's brown belt. Hey, you're almost one of those. You should learn that. Almost. Good. So. Yeah, yeah, and a test. The hardest and test. And the test. The hardest test of your current life. So you could do black belt test. That one's way harder. Good. All right. So cross step. Bam! Yamazuki. Cross step. Bam! Yamazuki. Now, if you notice, I cross step forward Yamazuki. I cross step backward Yamazuki. Which one feels more comfortable, Joey? Try both. So cross up in front, yama, cross up in front, yama, cross up behind, yama, cross up behind, yama. Yeah, Ew, that was upside down. Oh. Well, okay. I, I only saw one. Wait. Mm, there's a backhand always with the over. Yeah. Okay, you're not as violent as I am, but we're gonna fix yeah. that. So if I go here, step, cover, fire! Good! Way more violence. Now I get a little angry with you go, BAM! <clears throat> ah, yeah, now you're just barking. I like it. It's a good starting point. So here, step behind, BOOM! 
Good. Now, if you're really good, you go here, bam, and you use your footwork to help you. Are you ready yet? Uh, They're close. Because <laughs> the right hand's on top. Oh. So if it starts under, no, no, I mean at the end point. So if this one's in the chamber, this one's covering, boom. See, you just did a tattooy. I want you to do an uppercut with this guy. That guy's got uppercut. Your lefty's got uppercut. Right. Uh-huh. Now fix your thummies. Yeah, on bottom of these. Wrap them in. Close them off. Step. Boom. God, the punch is coming out. Boom. Ha-ha. Cover. Step. Wham. Huh. I know what to do. This will make it more fun for you. You stay there, Joey. You be the light in the, in the darkness. Okay, Jeremy. Jared, not it. He's gonna mess with you if you don't punch him, Joey. So, here's the cool thing. So if you do it right, you go here. Hey, Jerry, how you doing today? Oh, pretty good. How about Yamazuki? How's the Yama feel? Bob. Oh, it's really tiring. Good thing Bob tipped me and caught me. Okay, Joey. You're gonna go left hand up, right hand down. I can say that either way and it still made sense to me. Boom. No. Flippy flop. Whew. Don't worry about the footwork. Just stand here. Okay, see how you tattoo it again? Twist. Yes! You can. Now that was good because you just went like this. You just punched him after you hit him. The goal is to hit him with the punch, and that's what knocks him back, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me show you again. Back up a little bit. Go over here. Hey, guy. Boom. So I want. Yeah, I care about my motion on my legs. I care about my hand punch, and I still do a little shovey because shoving is fun. Uh -huh. Shoving is fun. Go ahead and try it again, sir. <laughs> do 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 do. Good. Hey, you figured out the hand part. That was so shovey. That was the most shovey of the all shoves. Hey, you guy, I knock you over somehow, but I keep pushing. Don't worry, if you don't knock it over, but you punch it, I'm still gonna be impressed, right? Mm -hmm. One of the cool things about karate is, there's things that you're not good at yet. Definitely. Now, the cool thing is, you can get better, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to have a critical eye, so you see yourself and like, yeah, that's not it. Hey, I knocked it over, Sensei. I'm like, that's good. But knock it over better. So if I go here, I'm trying to draw my arms and my legs at the same time. So I make contact at the same time. This lands here at the same time as these land there. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, so if I'm here, I have to really figure out this part. So you got to figure out that part. So you're not there into the movement yet. So go here. Don't even touch Jerry. He's fine. Just turn your hands. Underneath, you got to go over top. Do it over top again. Think about the the right hand as a more important one. The right hand's the one that hurts more. Now, keep it bent a little bit. Fix your dummy thumbs. Thumb. You go, boom! And almost like you're ripping forward, boom! This is just a really good super power cross, if you think about it. So you're doing a cross with your right hand. Does that help you think better? Uh. You're just doing a down angle. That's really good. Way better. Do it again. Thinking all again. Stop thinking. This is karate. There's only some thinking allowed. So, boom. Now, don't worry about the footwork yet, because your hands almost got it. Boom. Turn. Like you're driving a car into a wall. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. That's it. Now punch that guy's face off. Oh no. <laughs> Why, hands? Listen, talk to your hands, have a little speech with them. Hey, hands! We're gonna do what I tell you. Yes. You're Italian, ain't you? Yeah. You listen to me, you guys, or I'll punch you. Tell him, man. You gotta talk to your hands. Listen to me. He just hit you back. You better smash Jerry to get in revenge. Good. Now, this time I want you to only think about the top one. Boom! Hit it really hard. Good. Now, this time I want you to only think about the bottom one. I want you to go from here to here. What? Sorry, Jerry. I was trying to do Joey's work for you. Okay, so you're thinking about the bottom hand is going to go, boom. 
So I have to turn over, then uppercut. Got to turn over, then uppercut. I told you, just tell, do the bottom one. Don't even do the top one. You're thinking too hard. That's not the bottom one. Okay, I want you to punch with your left hand over here. Swoom! I want you to uppercut. Not a back fist, uppercut. Yeah, you have to turn it over and uppercut. That's how you can tell this is the weaker of the two punches, right? Because that angle stinks. This angle rocks. So, which one do you think hurts more? This one. Good, good. That's a, it's true, it does. Do it again. Boom. Good, now do both at the same time. And know ah! that that's your power shot. Th doing that thumb thing. Yeah. Good, you're going to have like, I don't know. Sensei Dave will tell you stories about how I taped his thumb to his hand. I, I put him in a, here and I blue taped his thumb. It wasn't duct tape. I saved that for later. Oh, good. Duct taped his hand so he couldn't hit his thumb out. They do all the shootos of his thumbs. That's it's okay. Mean. He was like 71 at the time. He was fine with it. It's even more mean. What? He got his black belt at like 71 or 72. He's fine. Uh, it helped. So, mm, again. Good. Nice. Fix, ah! Fix that right thumb. Uh huh. Do it again. Now, I want you to aim. I want your top hand to here and your bottom hand to here. There you go. Ha! Ah, ha, ha, you got some energy behind you. Do it again. Ha! Good. Now, you're starting to move the bag. See how the bag is starting to sneak away from you? It's like it's trying to get away before it gets a, its, it's grand prize of a smash -a Okay, now you're going to go back and forward. Ha! Good. Look at your back leg. It accidentally did the right thing. You're like, that's what it's there for. It gets jammed. Okay, back up a little bit so we can speech on that. So if you're this close and you want to do a really devastating punch, you might jam yourself, right? Mm -hmm. That's okay. As long as you meant to, right? Yes, sir. All right. I put him in a really hard mode now. Uh -oh. Okay, give him a good old smack and two. Twist and punch. Ha! Aha, your leg's figuring it out. Good, do it again. Twist ah! punch. Now don't forget to hit him hard. You're still holding back a ton of energy. <clears throat> hit him like you won't get in trouble for hitting him. There you go. That was better. I won't get in trouble for him. You won't. Hey, it's just me, Jerry. I'm a good guy when you get to know me. I wouldn't slap you in your sleep. <laughs> well, I don't do sleepovers here. You would. Okay, one more super powered one. If you don't do it right, I'm going to punch you. Ready, set, go. Ah! Oh, it worked. Look at the energy change. Look at that sense, it's going to hit me. Where If you were standing still right there, I wasn't going to hit you still. Right? Okay, one more try. I'm going to punch you in the back if you don't do this right. Ready, set, go. Ah! All right, good. Good. It's okay. Nobody got hurt except for Jerry. You, Jerry. Yeah, he's, he's a nice guy. He keeps nice, taking our stuff. He's... He takes your guff. You taking my guff? I'm giving you guff. <laughs> I've had enough of your guff. Good. All right, so we learned how to do a cross step stance, and a good reason to do it is to put energy behind it, so you're moving sideways, and your energy is boom. Mm -hmm. Side note is, here's another thing you can do. There you go here, and you go boom. What's that called? A double shot. Yeah! Zuki or Uchi? Uh, Uki? Uki, I didn't do a block. Uh, zucchini. zucchini, yeah, Zucchini. Zuki. It's the first part of the Zucchini, so I did same exact thing, boom, except for I fireballed in. You know what kind of that's in? Uh, Wansu. Oh, thank goodness. I was going to do like a Wansu on you. Okay, so Wansu this guy. Ha! Neat. Now here's the difference. Wansu doesn't land in a uh, uh, May Surudachi, does it? No, sir. What does it land in? Yeah, you're here. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, do that. Ha! Good. Now, where do you think you would modify your underpunch to hit? Uh, to hit. If it was a real person, where do you think you would want to hit this guy? Gun. The groin! Gun. Not gun. Groin! Yeah. The parts that hurt him the most are where you hit him the most. So, in the kata, traditionally, it's actually an upside down grab to the throat. So, it's literally throat, groin. You think that'd work? And now, everybody always gets concerned. What? That wouldn't work? Well, kind of. You attack somebody's throat in the groin, it's not going to work? It would. Okay, good. That's something to be said about that. Go here. Boom. Now, when you go here, what happens if somebody does that to your groin? You, ah! you jump. Now, if you do it really, really good, you go here. Boom. 
and then they jump, and what you do is you pick them up with the jump, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy doesn't have a very good neck, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Pick him up with the jump, you go around, woo! And you he flip him. He almost landed. That's because Jerry's been practicing. <laughs> the more you practice, hopefully you get better. Hopefully. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Let's do some other fun stuff with this guy because he's already here and he's staring you down. So, what I want you to do is more movement drill. So I want you to sidekick him. Good. Sidekick Jerry. Ha! Good. Oh, he would have totally fallen if I didn't cheat for him. How dare you cheat? <laughs> I'm going to get bringing his best friend. Bob's coming. You know why? So I want you to make him fall, but I want him to get back up quickly. Okay, sidekick him, sir. Ha! Aha! He almost grabbed you. Good, now keep yourself in the fighting position when you're done with the sidekick, because it might not always work. Both can see me. Ha! Good. Do it again. Ha! Yeah, now this can be done with like a pillow pad if you needed to, but make sure you have padding wherever they're kicking so you go boom! All right? Go ahead do it again. Ha! Okay, now I said movement, correct? So I don't want you to stand together and just sidekick. That's cool, but that's not the drill. So step back a little more. That's too far, but for example, that's fine. So you go step, cross step. Oh my goodness, we were just working on that, weren't we? Cross step, boom! Stay over there, Jerry. Good, do it. Do it. Ha! Good, if Jerry doesn't bounce, it's because you're being nice to him. Don't be nice to Jerry. Jerry's definitely bouncing, don't Go ahead, do it again. Anybody watching? Yeah, your mom. Ha! Oh, good. Somebody after the wall. Do it again. Smashy. Ha! Okay, now the cross step matters. Which way do we do? Cross step behind or cross step in front for a sidekick? Fine. Behind is correct. Do it again. Ha! Good. Now you're not dedicating your hands to the right spot. Uh. Ha! And that time you're too close. Yeah. Because if you crossed up that close, it's going to smack you in the head because you're still up in the. Ha! Look at your hands though. You fixed your legs, you broke your hands. Do it again. Ha! Boom! Good. My turn. Okay. Yes, so if I'm here, I'm like, hey guy, you're kind of far away from me. There's no way you could hit me. Wham! <laughs> I'd hit you though. I hit him in the groin, that's why. When you hit in the groin, you can even knock out Jerry. That's his weakness. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's not, because it's really tough. Okay, so you go here. Hey, man, it's cool. I'm going to keep it at you. I don't know why I'm fighting you. <laughs> Your turn. Make it look fun. Ha! Oh, my goodness. That was all the right moves. You just kicked so low. Probably because you're too far away. You just, you have to remember, I'm taller than you. Okay, camera adds 10 pounds, but this does not add that much height. Probably 20 pounds. That's the food that I eat, though. Go ahead, smashy. Ha! All right, you figured out a spot to kick him right here in his knee. You know what's good about a knee kick? It hurts. It works. Cold. If I'm an adult with bad knees, you can take me out, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm an adult with good knees, you know what that makes me? A new adult with bad knees. <laughs> you kick a knee out, it's a bad knee now. Make sense? Yes, sir. Good. Now kick him in the groin. <laughs> That's me. You can't yes. trick me. I know the difference. Ha! That's the stuff. That's a good place to kick him. Now remember, you're practicing against your own peers, right? Yes, sir. What's a peer? It's somebody you look up uh, to. Yeah. Or is somebody it your... in your same age group that yep. you know. Yep. It sure could be. Do it again. I guess I'm healthy, you said. Yeah. Ha! I am healthy, but yeah. Good. Kick him again. <laughs> It should be healthy. Ha! Good. Yeah, well, not everybody can't be healthy, man. That's Sugar true. tastes so good. <laughs> All right, we're moving to the other side so you can do the other leg, because otherwise you're going to be, you know, wobbly armed, wobbly legged, wobble legged. Well, All right, Bobby. Cool. Sorry, I'm working on my Greekness. <laughs> you ever see that one since the end? Would be like, hey, student, you're late to class. Oh, good. He doesn't do that. That's why you've never seen it. Good. Smash. Oh, it's mad! Whoa, that side's better. Is that side better always? Mm. We won't tell anybody then. Yeah, go ahead and kick him again then. Ha! Now you're doing a step cross step, which is great, but you're too close to do a step cross step. So that means don't step with this leg. Only step with the back leg. Ha! Yeah, why? Because. It's a different well, kick. That's it. It's not, it's not a wrong answer, it's just a different answer. Go ahead and kick him again. Ha! Whoa, this side's way smarter for some reason. Hey, don't tell hey. anybody. Do it again. I'm ha! Too close and he still made it work. Now that's the benefit of a cross step. He was too close. He was like here. He stepped behind and his knee is in a position where he kick even close. Mm -hmm. Is that cool or what? 
Yes, sir. Okay, good. Because if you did a regular kick from that side, go ahead, do a regular kick. No, no, I mean, no cross step. Just a side kick. Get closer. Put the example. No, that, that's a front kick. You can't trick me. Side, same sideways. Good. Now cross step. Or just, just side kick. Good. Now cross step side kick. Is that weird that one of them's easier? Which mm. one's easier? Cross step, kind of. Weird, huh? It's because you have a def you get to change the position of your foot. If you change the position of your foot, you can start angling around and you can start messing with the distance. Mm. Make sense? Yes. Good. Hands up. Do it again. Back up. You don't have to keep doing it bad, and that's okay. Good. Good. Now, don't draw your foot in a big circle. Draw in a straight line. That was better. Now you're starting to kick low because you started to start thinking about your feet again. Now, the other reason why you're trying your foot out wide is because you're, you're starting in a diagonal stance. Start side fighting. There you go. Step back. Kick. That's better. Nice. I like your energy, too. Everybody's going to say good things about it. Yay, good energy. Energy! Ha! See, that time you, you double stepped in, so he should have just punched you in the head, right? Yes, sir. Oh, well, you didn't get punched in the head, so you're safe. Do it again. Jerry. Jerry's already knocked out some people. It's okay. We'll figure out how he did that. <laughs> what? Well, you know, we'll go ahead and kick him again. Now you see what I mean? All right, go ahead and kick him again. Ha! Ha! Jerry hits back sometimes. It did happen. Good. Yeah, Jerry attacks. Sometimes if you kick him too low, he goes, yeah, and he goes over the pouches. Okay, then you go here. Okay, do that. Side kick, round kick. To do. So I'm going to go side kick, round kick. Same level. There you go. Do it again. Side kick, round kick. Yeah, but you're too close. You're fine. You can do that. Yeah, now I would pull your knee in a little bit in between. Yes, sir. Make your round kick matter. So you, you got so close. So just because you're side kicking doesn't mean you have to fall inside this little zone, right? Because yes, doing any kicks from here is hard. So you want to go here, side kick, round kick. Or if I'm here, whoosh, boom. He, his arm blocked it. Did you see that? Blocked No, Jerry! It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, Jerry. I'm not all right. You're all right. Kick him again. Side kick, round kick. There it is. Now look at the guy you're hitting. If you don't look at him, then I hit you. What? Oh, round kick, round kick. Better than nothing. Do it again. Okay, good. We're completed with the hard part of class today. Now we're going to do something that Joey's going to be sad about. And by sad, I mean upset. Okay, you ready, Joey? Uh, sure. Okay. Say he's on position. No. Good. Right leg out in front. Stretch it out. Ah, I tricked you. Good. That's good. Uh -huh. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Flexibility is trained slowly and methodically. Power is trained powerfully. Flexibility is flexibility wise. Flexible. Get yourself body flexibility good. Ah, both hands on each side. One hand on each side. Both hands on each side doesn't work, by the way. We'll try that. Maybe that. Ah, maybe. <laughs> Bring it back in. That's weird. Yeah. Whoa, don't be weird. This is Joe's dojo. <laughs> it's weird to be normal. It's normal to be weird. Yep, in my world. Yeah. Other leg. It doesn't have a real Japanese stance that I know of. Well, if you say frog and stance, you shove it together. Too. Yeah, but how do you say stance in Japanese? Nobody knows. Uh, dachi? Yes, you're correct. Somebody knows. <gasps> how smart you are. Okay, now, from here, put one leg out. Put the frog dachi. Just try one leg. No, I did say both. Oh. One leg. It's your fault. Took it back in. Try the other one. Hmm. Which one's easier? Uh, that one, kind of. Good. That was the leg that you're kicking better with. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Better flexibility leads to better kicks. Have you seen Joey? Uh, shoot. Yes, Okay, sir. good. Good. Then, the last one. 
Both, Both legs. Did you go toes down or toes up? Your preference. Down. Mm -hmm. One up, one down? Is that what you said? No, that's good. Yes. No, so am I. <laughs> down. Go ahead, touch the ground. Bop. Boop. I can't do this. I can do this. Yeah, bop, boop. Push it up. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Walk over to the other side. Boop. Bop. Ah, I gotcha. Gotcha. Back to the middle. Oh, we already did those. Good. All right, go away. Yes, Good. This is relax it out. All right, that is all for today. So a lot of stretching, a lot of hard working, um, some good karate in. Yes, sir. All the stances. Mostly. What? What did we miss? I oh, Miss Sarah, that's you. No. No. Good. Uh, <laughs> we'll say that in the next class. Good. That you're here. Good. All right. Kyotsuke. Sir. Here's the go. And ready. Domo arigato gozaimasu. I mean, thank you very much. Thank you for joining.